grew up still living in the same home in Scottsdale that my parents have had since before I was born. I attended Desert Mountain High School. I had a great group of friends and at the end of high school we ended up winning state championship. I'd say baseball was probably my first sport and then from there on it just was the dominating sport and then I would play other sports on the side. ASU was always my dream school because I'd say probably around the age of five my mother became a professor here. So then I just grew up, you know, young kids get infatuated by whatever their parents are doing or all that. So I just started loving ASU. We'd come to football games, baseball games, and I just loved the tradition that ASU baseball had. So it was always my dream school. I wasn't a starter to begin last year. I just tried to play to the best of my ability. Uh, I knew from high school I was a third baseman, so I knew the ropes of what I had to do, and with the coaching staff here, they really helped me, I'd say, get myself in condition to play that position. I played second base my freshman year here. I think I played in 22 or 23 games here, and most were at second base. So I always had that. From high school I was a third baseman, and then this year it's been first, left, pitcher, it's been all over. David was selfless in changing positions. You know, for him, for the draft, it would probably have been more valuable for him to stay at third base. Moving to first base, I think he realized that that was the best interest in the team and, and never once did we feel like he was giving us a hard time. You know, we couldn't be happier with him over there. We think we have a very, very good defensive first baseman. Mentally, I just go into the day thinking you're going to have to be ready for anything. My biggest obstacle was my freshman year of high school, our pitching coach passed away. And I was one of the last uh, players at the field with him hours before he died. So I think getting through high school, it was an obstacle, but now today it's still something that I play for. He always said, leave your mark. And uh, I think I still play with in my head saying, leave your mark, you need to leave your mark. What I love most about baseball is being able to come out here every day and play with kids who are my friends. I love competing with them, with them by my side. Having that camaraderie is really the best part of baseball for me. As a fan, I just like watching players play hard. I like seeing people who go about baseball the correct way and not necessarily the most flashy or the most talented, just play hard. After baseball, that's a frightening thought, truthfully. But I would say just healthy family, look forward to the business world, I'd say. I don't know exactly where that will take me because baseball is still going on. I think that would be my life after baseball.